right, you ready? Yep. Go. And believe it or not, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this the shoe off like that, right? And people. So we got dental impression sitting under the under here, and we're gonna pick that dental impression out of there right now, and then I'll knife out the foot, and you can still see the remnants that blues that old copper tox. And we're gonna just knife that out, nice and clean. Boy, that looks nice. Come back in like so. Bring that back. And then you can see your heels. This is how I earmark my heels, how I know to bring. You have to kind of uncover it so I can see how much to take. And there you go, now you can stop the video. Go. So and the reason, so we're gonna start at the toe is where I like to start. And I'm gonna come all the way back. And you try to nip as flat as you can because you'll do less work with your rasp. And then you're going to come all the way back. And because his heels are moving forward on him, we're going to take his heels out and then we'll wedge him back with their shoe and pat. And we're going to come back and see if I, if I do it right, when I nip, I'll be about where I should be. And then I just have to do a little bit of work with my rasp. And then we'll knife out that bar because that'll allow that foot to stop, that heel to stop collapsing on itself. Come in with our rasp. Come in like that. And then kind of hit here. And that should be about right. A little bit more here. And that's about level. Maybe a little more. But that's about right. So you can cut the video. See how them heels look? See how they're open there? We're going to close them up. And we're gonna set that shoe back here. And that's about where I think we wanna be. Okay? Here we're drilling the holes for the rivets. We're going to be putting a 3D half mesh pad with dental impression material underneath. And the reason we're doing this is to help cushion the heels. This horse is crushing his heels, so if we add a little cushion there and some support, it'll help displace the weight as well as giving him something to crush other than his heels. I'm really a child, though. We're making these to hold the copper rivets that we're going to use to... Hopefully when I get my drill press, I'm going to kill it. Here we're setting the copper rivets. And this is that 3D half mesh frog support pad. Alright, there we go. We're adding copper sulfate granules underneath the 3D impression material and the frog support pad. This just helps with overall hoof health and keeps thrush from becoming a problem when you're running a horse in pads. I recently learned a technique. Uh, traditionally, I would put the uh, dental impression on the foot first and then put the pad and shoe on. A friend of mine showed me to put the dental impression material on the pad itself and then smush it into the foot and it's a lot cleaner and it actually works way better. I wasn't quite happy with this first set of nails that I drove so I'm going to pull the one nail and shift the shoe over just slightly and then redrive them. You can see the dental impression material pushing up through the holes in the pad. The pad is designed that way so that the dental impression material will stay in place throughout your shoeing cycle. It's a brilliant design. I love these pads. I use them a lot. There we go. Going to push the dental impression material into 
all the nooks and crannies that we have. I'll push the that impression material that's in the front of the toe here. I'll push it back under the pad a little bit. I ring my nails off, a lot of guys don't. Some guys will bend them over or whatever. I've been stuck a couple of times by nails and I can tell you it's not fun, so that's why I ring mine off right after I drive them. Oh, son of a gun. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Okay. And you can, if you want to slide to the side a little bit. I had a buddy that was uh, shod for the Mexican Calvary. And down there, they don't do any of what I'm doing here. He says the rocks will chip it off in a few days. I don't know if that's a good thing, but that's how they did it. And I shoe with a machete and a, and a stick. Hope everyone liked the video. Let us know what you think. Like and subscribe. Thanks okay. for watching.